Yeah, mate. After a while of making some incredible beats on your machine, the pads might tend to get a little bit unresponsive. Now, I used to do regular cleanups on my Mark 1 all the time, and it was a pretty simple layout. Just open it, remove the pads, and clean them. Now, I'm assuming you can do the same thing here, but we're gonna go out in some deep waters. I've never tried this before, so I might fuck it up. We'll see, but hopefully we can clean it up because my pads 3, 4, and 8 are currently very non-responsive. Opening up your machine will void your warranty. I hold no responsibility over this. I'm not a professional. Don't know what I'm doing when it comes to electronics, but I do it anyways. So I would never send mine to a repair shop over an issue like this when I know that I can probably fix it myself. And maybe so can you, but it's at your own risk. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's see if we can do this without fucking it up. Seems like there are a few screws here on the back. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just gonna experiment our way through this here thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws on the back. Regular Phillips head, smaller type. Warranty void if damaged or removed. I think my warranty is already out, so we're not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna... Oh, shit. It's like a lottery. Can I win? Can I win? There we go. Make sure you put your screw somewhere where you remember where you put them. And where they can't slide away. And before you do anything to this, unplug your USB. Let's see how we're gonna pry this open because it's a very tight fit. You can just grab a hold of these rubber feet and wiggle it a little bit and it should open. Wow. Oh my god. This is a little bit more complicated than the Mark 1 was. Beautiful piece of engineering right here. But it looks like we can access the pads if we get this circuit board out of the way. What a glorious piece of hardware. So we'll just disconnect these ribbons. So just carefully grab them by the black parts and lift them up. Try not to fuck anything up. Should have a steady hand, which I don't. There we go, one. Little wiggling motion in there. And a two, there. It's a little tight, but you can do it. Now there's a whole bunch of screws we need to unscrew. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Keep track of this grounding cable. We're gonna need to put that back later. Don't stab any of these circuits, by the way, or any of the chips or resistors or components here because that can fuck things up real quick. Nope, it seems like it's jammed stuck with these here screws as well. So we're gonna try removing them. The Rhino component has been removed. Yep, we're able to lift it now. We just need to be careful. The fit is so tight that it's kind of hard without any tools or any aid you can find to sort of lift it up from here. Fucking. Let's make this a flathead screwdriver instead. Got it. All right. 
right there she goes so this so is this what, what she, she looks, looks like. like this actually plugs in here so be aware of that when you lift it up so this is what she looks like on the inside these are the pad sensors we got a bunch of micro switches here and uh, unfortunately she looks really clean clean i was expecting there to hopefully be some dust or crumbs in here i see a little bit there but it's so minuscule that i don't know maybe it could be affecting it so i'm gonna give it a clean up but this construction is so tight it's really it's, it's hard for something to go through here but there is a little bit of dirt there at the pad that i've been having problems with so hopefully this is going to improve it yeah there is some shit in there try not to rip this apart oh yeah there it is there we go this some nasty stuff in here see that i'm just gonna lift this out wash it off and let it dry be gentle we'll make sure to clean that frame a little bit too wow these pads are thick So there's a lot of dust there, there in between there for from few years of making bangers. But here, first and foremost, on the back, there's a couple of crumbs and some dust that could definitely need a cleaning up. And hopefully, it's going to run like a baby. I found a built-in instrument here where all the sound is coming from. Put all the screws back in, beginning with the, with the rhinoceros. But don't tighten all the screws all the way. From the beginning, rather screw all of them in and leave that last little bit for last and then just go another lap and re-tighten everything. The pads are kind of flappy right now, but I'm hoping it's because it's upside down. When you insert this screw, don't forget to put the grounding back there. Give her a little tug, make sure it's stuck. All the screws are back in. Now we just gotta connect these ribbon cables again. Just make sure the black thingies are pulled out. I remember, stick it in there in the middle between the black and the white. Don't matter if you're black or not. It's fidgety, but we can do it. And make sure it stays in place when we lock it back down in there. Pretty firmly, there we go. Because if the ribbon cables are not properly connected, then I know for certain a bunch of shit can go wrong. Or it's not necessarily dangerous! But, uh, oh my god, the rhino is clinching the ribbon cable. Son of a beach. That's the trickiest part, just... Pulling up the black thingy and having it not go back down. Now we're gonna have to try and squeeze this one back in. The rhino had it slightly deformed, but it doesn't look like it's damaged. It is trickier to get it back in though. Breathing exercises help. This might get you frustrated. Then wiggle it back and forth could help getting it in place. Last ribbon cable. Need to be extra careful with this one because there are a bunch of pins sticking out there. So be very precise and then lock it back in with the black thingy. Moment of truth is here. All right, come on. Perfect! Great success. 
If this beat here gets your bars going, you can get it on my website. And these drums here are made using the Amazi drums kit coming on the 25th so keep your eyes and ears open for that if you're just getting into learning a machine or you feel like you have some gaps to fill that you can't find here in the tutorials you want a from the ground up foundational education on how to use the machine you should check out my course machine noobs mastery school where you can grab that dragon by the tail take care of it and move on pedagogical all right till next time okay bye bye